So Leo, this is for you, all right, uh, for the new moon to the full moon energy and some energies may come from the full moon that we had last and the 77 portal as well. So we will see how to go from here, all right. And I am going through some kind of test from the universe. I can al I cannot also see the cards. I'll have to feel the cards and read the cards for you. But somehow I am feeling that uh, before even I could pull up the cards, I'm feeling like... Um, you know, universe has brought some kind of an energy into your life that has forced you to meditate, gather more information, know your soul more, all right, and 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 get the proper guidance, all right, get the proper guidance. Some of you are dwelling with some kind of egotistic energies, all right, uh, some kind of, uh, it's more like this, I am not guilty, all right, that kind of an energy is yours. I am not guilty, I am doing the right thing or some kind of a self-obsessive energy. Getting triggered can't help it, my dear. All right, I'm feeling the cards to be honest. All right, I'm really feeling the cards. Somehow, I'm really feeling it that, um, you know, you are a person, a wonderful human being. I am not saying that you are a bad human being. All right, I have major placements in Leo, so I know. So Leo is Mashakti energy, all right, and it's ruled by sun. So you can understand sun's energy. Sun itself is so powerful, still it's a malefic planet. So you can imagine sun, why sun is a malefic planet? Because sun had a lot of ego, all right. He had so much of ego because of his shine, all right. So he also has been cursed that nobody can, you, you, you are so proud of yourself that nobody can come close to you. And that's why you cannot approach sun. You will be turned into ashes, all right. So don't be too egotistic. At the end, you are the one who is going to be alone, my dear. All right, so that's what I'm feeling for you. All right, like you are not bad human being. Today we worship sun, all right, at the same time, even though sun is cursed. So what I am trying to tell you is that we all have good and bad within us. It is just our acceptance that it's okay. It's okay to be not okay. It's okay to not have all the answers. It's okay to let go of this ego for saving a relationship, all right, that you have put your heart, body, mind, soul into it. All right, so this is what I'm trying to tell you that this new moon is going to bring a lot of upheaval emotions inside you until the full moon. That means for the next coming 15 days from the day you view this message to the full moon, because I am doing intending to the new moon that we are approaching. So whenever you see this reading from that day onwards, you will experience for the next 15 days to 30 days, uh, really, really upheaval emotions. You will be forced by the universe to sit and meditate. All right, look. How can I go wrong with my messages? Father, I won't, I won't. See, I was telling you, you will be going through upheaval emotions. You already got the moon card. I felt it, all right? And you can see this person is hiding out. This person is beautiful. She is a fairy, all right? She's beautiful. Look at her. She's beautiful. I told you, you are a wonderful human being, just like sun, all right? But you have to know that you are here to shine. You are not here to destroy or burn out like with the sun ego so what i'm feeling for you is that my dear beautiful and you are ruled by sun and you are getting the moon and that's what i'm saying that you are and you see this is 18 and this is 20, 28 that means uh 10 times uh you know it's uh, ahead all right so so what i'm feeling for you is that anybody who has been guided by the universe to watch this reading it is telling me that you are getting powerful intuitive hits and epiphanies and that's the reason you have reached here to watch this reading first of all all right i told you that you have this um uh, you know this energy of um egotistic depressed or or suppress or i i'm not going to you know i'm not going to bow down or i'm not going to uh, to say that i am wrong whatever it is like it is all happening because of the moon phase all right one day the one person you know today i may be very kind and loving to you in your eyes tomorrow you may hate me for no reason all right then the problem is you that's not me i am just a youtuber coming and giving my message and i'll walk away if you are dealing with my messages then there has to be some issues with you that's why god brought you here and make you hear this message so you have to sit in meditation and contemplate introspect go within and see what is triggering you from my messages you will get the answer and because of this energy that you are carrying my dear victory is uh, becoming a distant dream for you 28 is, uh, is is number 10 that means it's pressuring you burdening you sometimes you're not able to sleep all right the pressure is so as such that you're not able to sleep i told you that i'm doing the reading from full moon to new moon you see this is the new moon to full moon so this is you see new new moon i can see the full moon also it's more like this and you can see the way she's trying to hide herself you know from others so it's more like this as if like you're trying to hide yourself all right as if like you have done something wrong and you're trying to hide yourself trust me you cannot hide 
sun moon and the truth is something that cannot be uh, you cannot hide it all right and you have to understand that sometimes probably you can also go wrong it's okay to accept to save a relationship it's okay to bow down it's okay all right it is okay to be not okay it is okay to not have all the answers all the time it is just okay sometimes failures makes more bigger pictures and dimensions for open up some more bigger pictures and dimensions for you where you can you know definitely carve out a niche for yourself and uh, and and get that name and fame that you truly deserve that will be your victory that will be your success and that will be your uh, crown my dear but you cannot reach here until unless you really do that those introspection and contemplation and you tend the beast within and 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 i'm feeling like that as if like um, goddess shakti is doing some kind of tandav inside you because of something that you have done is not um, ethically principally morally correct in in her eyes all right you may be a leo moon leo moon or you may be a leo very strong placements there or you may be a leo ascendant all right i'm not doing this reading for leo sun but some of you probably it is very prominent as a new uh, leo sun all right and some of you are trying to hide out about uh, something like kind of there is something i i'm just feeling it you know i'm just feeling it it's like this person is hiding out but she's trying to observe like you are trying to and you see you're stalking all right you're stalking somebody uh, you're watching somebody you know you have a very close eye on somebody you are trying to study trying to read and this may be a masculine watching a feminine and this may be a feminine watching a masculine or a feminine all right like in reality probably you don't even show up that you are watching but behind you are you're watching you don't want to leave your presence but trust me all right psychic medium people do understand what what exactly you're trying to do and all so people will know what exactly you are trying to do or play with at the end you are playing with yourself and that's what i'm feeling for you that this new moon to the full moon you will get a lot of clarity you will have all the information and understanding and clarity to what exactly is happening with your life and what you need to do to bring an end to this energy so that you feel stress free and victorious and you can sleep uh, in peace at night and the secrets that you are uh, carrying right now or the secrets that you are dealing with right now um, and because of which there are worries and fears let go of it secrets will come out so uh, eight is a number of uh, death, death and transformation. Transformations are taking place, reformations are taking place. And eighth house is a house of secrets, lies, scandals, uh, you know. Think of any negative energy is a house or uh, kept, it's a Scorpio house, all right? So I'm feeling like that. Some of you are from Aries to Scorpio. It's like you're swimming in that ocean, you know, that dark side, all right? You're not able to come up to the light side of the universe, all right? Because universe is like this, you know, there's dark and the light, all right? And you have to come in between of that energy where it's all colorful. You cannot be in the white, you cannot be in the dark. You'll have to be in the in-between. And that's in-between is something that God is trying to teach you. That means it will be like this from this new moon to the full moon to the new moon again it's like you know from new moon to full moon to new moon again there will be a lot of changes in your life that's what i am feeling for you now